Hello, everyone. Hello. Today was day three, and we talked about why you can't calculate your deficit. So one of the most common questions we get is always, how can I calculate my deficit? And it's always about that in insurance piece, right? People really want to ensure they are in a calorie deficit, so they want to calculate it. But today, we're not going to lie to you. Uh, we're telling you why you cannot you calculate your deficit. You can not. You can estimate, estimate, but it is one big giant pile of estimation on estimation on, on estimation. estimation. So remember that calories out. So to, ca to calculate calorie deficit, you would need to calculate calories out and calories in. So remember that calories out come from four different things. So your BMR, which is actually 70% of the calories burned in the run of a day, and most of that you have zero control over. Zero control over that. It is your genetics, your ethnicity, your gender, age. your age, all of those things, okay? So we estimate that. Then we estimate how many calories you burn every day just being you. Your job, did you go shopping? Did you go to the was park? Was it a busy day or did you stay on the couch all day? Like well, how was that your day? That makes a big difference. Big difference. Um, we, then we estimate how many calories you did an exercise your apple watch is only estimating, estimating. the uh, machine on the treadmill estimating okay so you see how many estimations the last piece is how much your digestion of food depends on what you consumed in the run of a day so again estimation plus estimation plus estimation plus estimation is a huge estimation um and guys like you're not a science experiment like you can't be like click chip okay this is how many calories you burned today because you went to the park or today you didn't burn a lot because you were on your computer all day like you just cannot you and can't put a number to it this is just calories out Mm. We haven't even started to talk about calories in. Yeah. So let's get into calories in. So we need to just simply make you aware of situations where you are probably under acknowledging, under reporting, under aware of calories that are coming in. So for us, the word tracking is heavy. The word calorie tracking is heavy. We rather use the word track uh, calorie awareness. So having calorie awareness is a part of our journey. It's Absolutely. a part of who we are. It's a part of what we do. Um, and we help our members create calorie awareness and we very much promote that. But the tracking piece is where it's, it gets hard and tricky. There is a big difference between being aware of how much you, you are consuming of one thing and how many calories are in that one salad you get from the restaurant than attempting to track every single little thing that goes in your mouth for seven days. Yeah. So we just want to make you aware that when you are putting things in my fitness pal that is not exactly what you just did because anyone can put anything in my fitness pal and you're like oh a chicken breast a cup here it is that 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 that's just what someone else put in my fitness pal yeah okay packaged food items even though they say there's 100 grams there could be 80 or 120 grams Pro packaged foods are allowed to have up to 20 percent variation so that's one thing portions and a lot of people are just like measuring them on a cup and kind of like, oh, I, I not know, even, not even. And they're just like, you're just putting, putting it on your big plate. You should see the difference between putting four ounces of chicken on a big plate versus a little plate versus a Tupperware container. Yeah. Looks totally different. Looks different to you. So a weighing, like weighing your cheese and nuts and meat, all the things that are like really calorie dense, but it can also be really underestimated in terms of portions just by the look of it. Um, and it, just like almonds and nuts, like that cheese. cheese Cheese is a big one. Meat, you could be eating six ounces and you think you're four. That's a difference of 100, almost 200 calories. 12 ounces and you think you're eating four. 12 ounces. We had one girl that said that. It's true. Um, so, and that's one meal. One meal. One day out of seven. So compound that over and over and over. Um, I mean, is the, is, is the perfect time to remind them that there is seven days in a week? I think it's a great time to remind them that there is seven days in a week. So it, I, I mean, mean, imagine if you needed to try everything that goes into your mouth seven days a week. And, and are we going to talk about liquid calories? Like also a great thing to talk about. So, um, wine has calories. Not saying don't drink it, saying be aware that yeah, wine yeah. has calories. Yeah. So does beer, so does pop, so does the creamer in your coffee. So all of these things, it's important that if you are not losing weight, that you need to be aware that there's calories coming from those things. And awareness is the key to your success. Not here. necessarily the tracking. It's the awareness piece. Awareness piece of it. Okay, this is the one that probably hit the most home for our people that were watching us on Calorie Deficit Bootcamp. Extra bites. How? I was 
like guilty, guilty. How many times in the run of a day do you take a bite off your kid's plate? Do you take a bite of mashed potatoes while you're cooking supper? Do you stand in your pantry and test things while you're deciding what you're going to have for your bedtime snack? Hundreds of calories are consumed every single day with those extra little bites that do not get tracked. And we're not saying you're evil or you're like you're a bad person because you eat extra bites. It's just you need to not think that tracking everything that's going in is like the is magical. And we've had people say, "Well, I should be losing weight. I'm tracking." And I'm like, "Oh, it doesn't ensure weight loss. Like tracking does not ensure weight loss." And with so many studies made on tracking and how how 99.9, actually 100% of people under report, but you can under report by like a little or a lot, but it is more than common. There was a meta-analysis done, which is when they take multiple studies, put them all together, and on average, people are underestimating between 20 and 60% every single day it is not because you're bad it's not because you're evil it's not because you're trying to trick it's because it's hard it's hard so we are not saying it's that tracking is evil and you shouldn't do it we are saying be aware how difficult accurate tracking actually is and I love that you said that because I, I actually feel, she said, it says, I mean, I'm exhausted just reading these. Well, I feel like it's it's been a lot. Like yeah. just everything we've said, I'm like, yeah. oh my God. And then there's oils. We didn't talk about oils. Oils, condiments, butters, sauces. condiments, sauces. Guys, this is a lot. So tracking, I think is just thrown out there as this like secret amazing tool that's gonna like ensure weight loss without having the conversation of how hard it is to properly use that tool. Now, Tracking versus awareness is two different things. You can use apps to allow yourself to know more about your meal. Um, but also, don't if you lost weight and you're like, well, I lost weight and I tracked and it was amazing, you lost weight because you created a deficit with the lifestyle you started to live, okay? And that's the reason, the science behind your weight loss. You might have used tracking as a tool to help you know more about your food. Um, but there is no magic behind anything really there's no magic behind intermittent fasting or there's tracking no or blah, blah, blah. so we want you to realize that here's what happens sometimes too people track then they don't lose weight and they think they're broken. broken yes you are not broken you're not broken you are just inaccurately tracking and the reason why you're inaccurately tracking is because it's, it's hard. hard exactly so we need you to know that you're not broken that it is possible and that the secret that's waiting for you is actually awareness yeah if you could be more aware more, of, more aware like a little bit of calorie detective um, more aware of what's coming in seven days a week, this, that will help you create a deficit. So you're not broken. You just didn't create a deficit. There is only so many hours in the day, so many mental energy that you guys can spend on this piece of your life. And if you spend most of that on an app trying to calculate how many calories are in the lasagna that your mom dropped off, then you are not gonna be successful. We want you to put the effort and energy into your awareness of your lifestyle. Okay, so we're gonna end with this. It's the fact that you can't, don't put all of your energy into making sure that you're within hitting a certain number and the numbers and this and the adding and the weighing and the, all of that. Please also take into account that you need to put in space and mental energy to make sure that you're happy. And you're not even doing that. When you're just hitting a number, hitting a number, because apparently this magical number is gonna get me weight loss, you're not even taking into account if you even like what you're eating, or if you're happy, or if you're hungry. You're just all, everything's in an app. Uh, that's just not real life. I mean, have you ever tracked my fitness pal and then because you had calories left, you added more calories on? Or yeah, because you, you were you ate more you ate because more you're like because, oh it's telling me and and but you the, probably ate more than you had tracked that you had eaten and or you're starving and you're not going to eat more because your my fitness pal says fourteen hundred no no we are going to listen to shut our the noise. shut the noise we're going to listen to our happiness we're going to listen to our hunger and we're going to listen to our results and we're going to use the results use tracking as a tool, tool. to help us create awareness. awareness and not to count every single thing that goes in our mouth done bye guys.